All right, guys. So, operation disassembly is about to begin. But let me just give you guys a quick overview. So, we got a little station over there. My phone is already on the charger and everything. Got my little tote right here. That's just gonna house, you know, all the parts that we're gonna disassemble. These parts in here already came off this. So, but there's nothing major in here. Just spark plug wire. This came off my car, but this is the the what do you call this now the guide or the cover for the the uh what do you call that the gas tank pipe the cover for the gas tank pipe that's the flywheel gear right there and then the flywheel guard right here and then in this bag underneath here there's nothing there's just one thing in there it's just um the oil dipstick it's a good oil dipstick so i wrapped it up and kept it good because the oil dipstick off that one that we got we didn't even get all the dipstick with that one. So the one that came with... No, it actually came off this. My bad. There's the one that came out here. It's already chewed up. You know? And I said I wanted to use as less parts from that motor for the build motor. You know? So we have a complete... Even though our oil dipstick is nothing. But you know, if it's even down to the oil dipstick, make sure we have two of those. So, you know, in case anything happens, we have a spare motor and we have everything for the spare motor. But, yeah. But yeah, we took it off that one and put it there, but that's about it. I'm about to start taking this stuff apart. One thing I wanted to show you guys, I'm not going to be stopping a lot in the build. I'm just going to be just, we're just going to be taking this motor apart together. I'm not going to be doing a bunch of talking or none of that, but I just wanted to show you guys real quick. Let me see if I can. So check this out, guys. Oh, I screwed it back down. Damn, I screwed it back down. God. Can you guys see that? You guys see how... You see how gold that is? You know, of course we know that shouldn't be looking like that. Oh my God. We all know it shouldn't look like that. It shouldn't look like that at all. If it, yeah, you guys see that? You see that gold mark on the, the cylinder head wall right there? You see that? That's how the entire thing looks inside of there. That's how it all looks inside of there. It looks terrible. But when I pick this motor up, see, this one looks way nicer. This one is much cleaner on the inside. You see? Way cleaner. See that? In that same spot we were just looking at, did you see how how corroded and ugly that was on that one over there and look how nice this one looks so this is a much better donor but yeah let me give you guys a quick rundown of that um went to florida i don't remember the name of the place but it's eight hours away went to go pick that motor up and pick this four speed transmission up gs16 four speed um for 200 bucks together of course i know that this was going to need to rebuild but it was a win-win for me. The transmission is in good condition and it's really so cheap. I'm re I really just bought the transmission actually because this is a blown motor and it's in bad condition. Maybe only the block is good. As for this, when I seen this, I noticed it was a OBD1 head and we have an OBD2. So since I already made my jumper harness and I didn't want to have to take out my OBD2 harness and put a whole B13 OBD1 harness in, we we can't use the head on this motor. I'm gonna stick with OBD2. So that's where I went to go do more research to go find this one. Found this one for what was it? 200 bucks for this one. And they told me that it came out. The, well, that's what they told me that it, it needs to be rebuilt. And it it was out of the car for a while. It seems because it's it has more dust on it than grime. But in here, it's beautiful inside, man. It's beautiful inside of it compared to that one. I haven't took the head off completely, but from thus this look compared to that, this is in much, the head is in much better condition as it relates to it being cleaned. And it seemed like it was more maintained properly than that one. But enough talking. Let us start taking this bad boy apart. This is the fun part, man. This is the fun part.
first time looking at this and this looks really good compared to that other motor. I really don't want to show you guys, we'll show you, we'll, we'll see what that eventually looks like. I'll show you guys, but it looks way better than this one, trust me. This is my first time rebuilding a motor, but compared to that, I feel more confident building this than if I were to build that. But then we still have that for research and development. Because who knows, you know, maybe in the future, I might just throw some money at it and have it CNC machined and have it reverse engineered and create a billet block for a GA16. I don't think anybody's ever done that. And if this block can handle 10 second runs, imagine what a billet block can handle. You know, that'd be crazy. That's world records right there, man. But let's let's not even too loud up the thing. Okay guys, so just came back from the store and I leveled up. So on that one that you just seen in the past that was rounding up, I have a whole set of those. So I was like, let's just replace the whole thing. So I just got this, those are 15 bucks. It has a 10 in it, of course. And then I got this big boy 10 and then this small 10. Cause most things on the car is 10 anyway. So can't run out of 10s now. I got three of them. So let's continue.
Okay guys, I think I'm gonna stop right here for today. Well, I, I can't go any further to remove the cams. As I said, I got ahead of myself, so I need to put some, I need to put back on some of those brackets on or whatever is the right term for those. And then I need to go to Home Depot and get me a set that has the right size for this. It's not a 32, I have a 32, a 32 is too big for it. So, I think it's about a 28 probably, that's what I think it is. But that's what's stopping me, because according to the manual, which is over there, according to it, you gotta remove, um, you gotta remove all this other stuff which I already did and this before you can remove this stuff. So yeah. I mean, since we're not taking it apart in the car, I think I can just technically just hold right here and just, you know, do my thing. And it doesn't have to be at top dead center and all that crap. 
And I think I have to do that since it's under the motor, but I think they was doing it for the person who's just doing it in their garage, which is their daily driver. But this is in a built motor, so are going to be completely tearing apart. So I don't think it matters where top dead center is. Maybe it does matter. I'm still learning. Forgive me for being a noob, but yeah, this is where we stuck for right now. We got everything over here, all the parts. And then over here we have everything labeled in sandwich baggies. Every single bolt is labeled and sensor. So yeah, I'm about to pause right here, go chill for a bit, and then I'm gonna go to the store and then pick up the right size. Um, I have those three over there. Those three bolts right there. I have those for reference. I have a 32 in that list, and it's too big. And I have a, and I have a, I have a 24 that's small. So I'm gonna just use those for reference and then judge it. Just buy a range of them or a set if I can get my hands on a set. So yeah, that's it for now, guys.
But yeah, it's just these two little tabs that were really holding it in place. Just had to just tap it with your old little salt shaker hammer. <laughs> That's a cool way to call it, salt shaker hammer. Yeah, whatever. And we got this old 
piece of garbage off. Look at that nasty stuff. Ugh. Look at that. Disgusting. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be doing something real special. Um, as you guys can see, before I tell you guys what I'm gonna be doing, up here we have to tour apart the GS16 completely. Everything is all torn down. The only thing I have left to do now is to um, just remove the the valve springs and the valve stems and all, you know, all this little stuff in here. All the valve train stuff. And then I need to get newer spark plug tubes. That's what they call them on the website when I'm looking up. Cause I'm, the, the, the next step now is to clean this stuff up in preparation for it to be rebuilt. And I'm putting brand new, every, brand new everything in there except a crankshaft. So yeah. Brand new, every single thing. Well, as much as I can get, because some of the stuff are not in stock, but just a small amount of stuff. But for the most part, everything is in stock. So, yeah, 